Good evening. How are you today, my dear participants? Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Yeah. Hi, hello. I hope you're having a great week. Okay, today is Monday. Sometimes we are a little bit tired, but I hope that you can be ready for class today. I congratulate you for being here. Eh, gracias por estar conectados en la clase. No siempre los lunes son fáciles, ¿verdad? Pero eh, qué bueno que están acá. Ok, uh, this week we are starting our third week together in this module. So we are going to start, a, let's see, <clears throat> let me go to the platform in order to show you where we are. Déjenme ir a la plataforma para mostrarles a dónde estamos. Eh, this is not yours, esa no es la de ustedes, déjenme ver acá. This is yours, ok. <clears throat> ok, so for today, we are going to start lesson objective 4.0. And it says, in this class, participants will learn new vocabulary related to geography, ok. And so that's the vocabulary we are going to study today. And then in the platform, you have a video that says geography vocabulary. And it says the biggest and the best. And then you have a video. You can go there and listen and watch the video. Then we are going to advance a little bit uh, on the participants. We'll listen a conversation about geography. Then we are going to learn about comparison with adjectives. And uh, we'll be uh, first introduced in this part. And then, which is larger, which is a, a video about a conversation which is larger. Then <clears throat> we are going to advance uh, for you to know how to ask and answer questions using comparison with adjectives. And finally, uh, we are going to cover the comparison with adjectives uh, grammar practice until we get to 4.6 knowledge check. Maybe we won't cover this tonight, okay? Tal vez no vamos a cubrirlo todo esta noche, pero vamos a comenzar, ¿verdad? Y la meta es, eh, en esta semana, this week, we are going to finish eh, section four. Esta semana vamos a terminar la sección cuatro. So I'm going to stop sharing this, and I'm going to share with you my presentation, okay? First of all, I want to give you some vocabulary. Primero le voy a dar algún vocabulario. When we talk about geography, cuando hablamos acerca de geografía, tenemos eh, diferente vocabulario. So I'm going to share some words with you. And eh, we have, for example, here, and I would like that you can repeat with me if you can. Me gustaría que podamos repetir, si puede. Okay. Eh, we have here, Coast, dogs, coast, dogs, dogs, port, port, marina, 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 landslide, landslide, erosion, erosion, abrasion, abrasion, bay, bay, harbor, harbor, cliff, cliff. Arc, voy a tratar de poner. Arc. Arc. Ok, para que puedan ver la imagen. Arc, sorry. Arc, lighthouse. Headland. Península. Cave. Cave. I cannot watch that. Sea. Sea. Ocean. Ocean. Sand. Sand. Pebbles. 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 Stack. 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 Tide. Tide. Groins. Groins. Groin. Uh, let's see this one. Deposition. 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 Beach. 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 Sand dunes. Sand dunes. Mud flats. Mud flat. Salt marsh. Salt, Salt marsh. Stuary. 
Tuar. Siwong. Rockfall. Rockfall. Okay, very good. Now we have here some specific vocabulary about landscapes. Um, some of this vocabulary is a uh, cliff. Okay. Cliff. Cliff. Coast. Cliff. Coast. Forest. 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 Uh, desert. 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 Beach. 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 Hill. 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 Island. 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 Jungle. 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 Path. 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 Road. 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 Okay. Dam. 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 Farmland. 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 City. Farmland. City. 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 River. 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 Bridge. 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 Middle. 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 Bay. 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 Park. Bay. Park. Park. Volcano. Volcano. Pond. 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 Okay. In here, we have, for example, a archipelago, which is the, the geography about the land, the land structure. Archipelago. Archipelago. By canyon, canyon, cave, cave, coast, coast, continent, delta, desert, glacier, hill, island. 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 East, Eastmouth. Eastmouth. Very good. Uh, okay, aquí estaba. Okay, sorry. Ay, me voy a mover un poquito para que la puedan ver todo. Okay, lake. 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 Mountain. 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 Ocean. 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 Peninsula. Peninsula. Plain. Plain. Plateau. 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 Pond. 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 River. 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 Strait. 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 Valley. 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 Volcano. 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 Waterfall. Waterfall. Okay, very good. Uh, so here we have some other vocabulary that says arch, arroyo, by, canyon, chasm, cinder cone, cliff, island, lake, pass, peninsula, plain, prayer, reef, river, uh, shoreline, spring, strait, swamp, yard, yard, yard. Okay? So. I will send you this. Le voy a enviar esto para que ustedes puedan practicar buscando el vocabulario y colocando en la línea que corresponde, ¿verdad? Pero eh, básicamente lo que quería en esta noche era un poco darles eh, vocabulario de lo que sería geography, ¿verdad? De lo que es la geografía y cómo está, eh, cómo se dice, ¿verdad? Eh, parte de esa geografía en inglés. So I'm going to stop sharing here now that you have the vocabulary and I want a new share, okay? Uh, tonight we are going to continue with the comparative adjectives, okay? In the, in the videos, you will learn about comparative adjectives. But first of all, I would like to know if you remember what's an adjective. Primero me gustaría que eh, recordemos que es un adjetivo, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Todos se recuerdan o necesitamos hacer un review? An adjective teacher describes uh -huh. uh, the subject. Yes, very good. For example, if I say young people, which is the adjective? People. Uh, young. 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 Young, yes, because people is the noun, okay? Yes. 
for example, if I say um, intelligent lady, which is the adjective? Intelligent. intelligent. Very good. Intelligent. If I say, <coughs> excuse me, smart boy, which is the adjective? Smart. smart. Very good. Smart. Congratulations. Now you know what is an adjective. Exactly. An adjective is a word that describes a, a noun, right? Uh, or a, a person or a thing, but at the end, uh, a noun. So uh, tonight we are going to learn how to use the comparative uh, adjectives to compare to people, places, or things, okay? Uh, here we have some rules, and the rule says that for short adjectives, we just need to add er, okay? So if we say old, we say older. Uh, young, younger. Uh, in here, the rule that says consonant, vowel, consonant, plus er. The final consonant is double. Cuando tenemos un adjetivo pequeño como big, y, y va consonante, ¿verdad? En la letra B, vowel, I, ¿verdad? Y consonant, G, you say big, but uh, then you duplicate the last a consonant and you say bigger, a hot, hotter. When we have a short adjective ended in Y, we change the Y for, pair, uh, for um, I and then you add ER, easy, easier, heavy, heavier, okay? Entonces ahí estoy diciendo, old es viejo, ¿verdad? Pero cuando yo quiero comparar una persona con otra, por ejemplo, yo digo, eh, I am older than my sister. Yo soy mayor que mi hermana. Eh, o digo, my sister is younger than me. Mi hermana es más joven que yo. ¿Okay? Entonces, yo me estoy comparando, ¿verdad? Entonces, ya no solo uso el adjetivo como tal, young, sino que agrego el er, ¿verdad? Eh, Your house is bigger than mine. Tu casa es más grande que la mía. Okay? Uh, this summer is uh, hotter than uh, last year. Este verano es más caliente que el del año pasado. Uh, the exam, uh, this English exam was easier than the previous one. Este examen de inglés fue más fácil que el anterior, ¿verdad? Uh, Uh, he heavy, uh, let's see, heavier, maybe we can say um, this car is heavier than, or this truck, the truck is heavier than the sedan, ¿verdad? El, el camión es más pesado que el sedan. Um, ok, entonces ahí tenemos eh, en la misma lámina, ¿verdad? Vamos a ponerla así para poder verla todos. Eh, for long adjectives, para adjetivos más grandes utilizamos la palabra more, ¿ok? Plus the long adjective. For example, exciting. Si contamos aquí, ex, one syllable, sci, two syllable, teen, three syllable. Entonces, cuando ya tiene tres sílabas o más, ya no podemos hacer el agregado del er, ¿verdad? Porque ya se oiría raro. Entonces, lo que se hace es colocarle la palabra more. More exciting, a beautiful, more beautiful. And we have some irregular adjectives. Tenemos algunos adjetivos que son irregulares porque no, no aplica esta regla. ¿Verdad? Decimos good, better, bad, worse, far, farther, little, less, much, many, and we say more. Okay? We use done. After the comparative to form the adjective, John is taller, is taller sorry, than Maria. Juan es más alto que Maria. A Ferrari is more expensive than a Fiat. Okay? And that's true. Uh, so, after having this rule, I have here other examples. And having the same rules. For example, uh, vamos a hablar del, del grado positivo. The positive degree. El grado positivo es cuando yo lo tengo, el adjetivo tal cual, big, ¿verdad? 
Eh, cuando ya hago el comparativo es cuando agrego el ER. Clear, clearer. Dark, darker. Y eh, ya vamos, de, más adelante vamos a conocer el superlativo, que es cuando yo ya le agrego en lugar de ERST. Clearest, el más claro. Darkest, el más oscuro. Es decir, no tiene comparación. It's the top of mind, el, el, el máximo, ¿verdad? Eh, y cuando usamos el superlativo tenemos que usar el, 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 la partícula DA. Okay, before the superlative, but we will develop this later. Okay, one syllable ending with E, wise, wiser, wisest. Simple, simpler, simplest. Okay, okay, those are some examples. And here I have others for you. Aquí tenemos otro, ¿verdad? Uh, we say uh, from one syllable adjective, long, longer, straight, straighter, Big, bigger, tall, taller, large, larger, hot, hotter. Eso es para los de una sílaba. But if I have two uh, syllable adjectives, we say honest, more honest. Happy, we can say happier, but uh, I don't know, uh, that's why they change the Y. Aquí el, lo que ocurrió fue que cambiaron la Y y se agregó y latina ER. Narrow. Narrower. Eh, famous, we can say more famous. Crazy, crazier. Gentle, gentler. Three or more syllables. Cuando ya tenemos más de tres sílabas, ahí sí siempre aplicamos more. Expensive, more expensive. Popular, more popular. Confident, more confident. Dangerous, more dangerous. Beautiful, more beautiful. Difficult, more difficult. For the irregular adjectives, we have good, better, bad, worse, far, farther, many, more, little, less. Far, it can be also farther. Podemos usar los dos, ¿verdad? Farther or farther. Okay, very good. What I want you to do now, lo que vamos a hacer ahora, es que basados en este cuadrito, I will take a picture. Vamos a tomar una foto. And I want you to work in pairs designing um, at least one uh, sentence per each. Vamos a trabajar en parejas diseñando oraciones, al menos una oración para cada uno de los casos. So you will discuss and you will provide your examples. Okay, so let me see if it's a neat. Ok, Roberto. Chelas. Can you see my screen? ¿Pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Yes, teacher. Ok, very good. I'll send you the picture. Le voy a enviar la imagen para que puedan trabajar. So let me see. Okay, the idea is that you can think in the use of this in context. La idea es que puedan pensar en el uso de estas palabras en contexto, ¿verdad? Y que puedan crear al menos una oración, ¿verdad? Eh, en, como es en pareja, al menos una oración por cada uno de estos, ¿verdad? Entonces, si tenemos cuatro, cuatro cajitas, one syllable adjective, two syllable adjective, three or more syllables, and irregular adjectives, I expect one eh, from each. Entonces, pueden dividírselos y trabajar dos oraciones cada uno, de cada, eh, para que tengan cuatro, una por cada uno de, de, de las cajitas. Ok, very good. Let me, let me do the breakout rooms. So we are nine, so I will divide you in pairs. We are eight because with me is nine. So if we, if we divide you in, we will have four.
Okay, Roberto. Uh, maybe you can try to do your own sentences since it's going to be difficult for you to, because of the mic, to participate. So I would invite you to write your own sentences just for practicing. Uh, David? Hello, David. Are you there, my dear? Hello, David. Can you hear me? Hello, David. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello, Noe. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Can you hear me? I yes. send I send David to your group to your group <coughs> to to work with you, but it seems that he's having some problem with the internet. Yes, he couldn't <laughs> Excuse me. So okay. if you it's want, so... I can assign you to another group, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. I will close this and I will assign you to another group. alone so it was a <laughs> okay my dear so, lady thank you for uh, welcoming Noé uh, he was alone in the group because I assigned him a partner but maybe the partner is having some problem with the internet so okay. I would appreciate that you can work together okay 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 see you later bye bye bye, bye. Teacher. Hi, how are you? 
Fine. Fine. Thank you. Very good. Uh, Are you working? A little on? difficult. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know, but you try to do your best, okay? Only one sentence for each. So okay. Re uh, okay. remember that you can compare using done, okay? Recuerden que van a comparar utilizando la palabra dan. Ya les voy a mandar una imagen para que vean las, la oración anterior. Probablemente esa les hace falta. ¿Ok? Ok. I'll send you uh, the, the previous slide to the chat. Ok, see you later. Ok. See you. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> ah, yeah, better. Okay, teacher, we are ready. Uh, are you ready? Okay, very good. So I will yeah. send the message to return you to the main session, okay? Okay, okay teacher. Okay, very See good. See you then. Very good. Yeah. We can hear you, teacher. Your phone is off. Oops, sorry. Okay, how was the practice, my dears? It was great, teacher. Okay, very good. Nice. Good, teacher. Very good. Nice. Good to hear that. Okay, uh, I'm going to share again the presentation. So let me see. This is the other one. Okay, this is the one. Okay, very good. Okay, there you have, <coughs> excuse me, some words again. 
in the screen. Can you watch the screen? Yes. yes. Okay, very good. So, who would like to start? ¿A quién le gustaría comenzar? Me, teacher. I'm going to break the ice. Okay, <laughs> very good. You like to break the ice. That's good. Okay. <laughs> so, my sister, my sister's hair is longer than mine. Okay, very good. And my father is happier than my mother. Okay. And my sister's car is more expensive than mine. Mm -hmm. And the chocolate is better than the coffee. Okay, yes, sometimes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. Very good uh, comparison. Congratulations. Okay, who wants to continue? Okay, Crisia, mm -hmm. go ahead. Adelante, Crisia. The Golden Bridge is larger than New Jersey Bridge. Okay. Nice. Um, you are happier than me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if... Um, Juan Carlos quiere decir las otras. Ok, Juan Carlos. Would you like to? Yes. Okay. Uh, this wallet is more expensive than this one. Ok. And the last is the fat food is worse than greasy food. Yes, that's, that's true. Okay, who wants to continue? Finish, okay, very good. Thank you, team, great job. Okay, who wants to continue? Me, Okay, Julie. Okay, my hair is tall, is large than my sister. Okay. Um, Michael Jackson is more famous, famous. 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 That Vicente Fernandez. Okay. <laughs> um, his chair is more expensive than my chair. Okay. Um, I am better that. The Tuesday. Okay, I am better uh, than I was on Thursday. Okay, very good. Nice. Thank you, Julie. Okay, uh, next participant. Me, teacher. Okay, Noe, go ahead. Um, my path to work is longer than my brother. Okay. Uh, the my father's car is bigger than mine. Okay. Um, it's bad to work on Saturday, but it works to work on Sunday. Yeah, so sad. <laughs> it's sad, terrible. Very sad. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, Noe. I agree with you. Okay, very good. <laughs> I think that, thank you very much. I think that all of you have participated because, yes. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate your effort of um, constructing or elaborating a sentence based on the examples I provided, okay? So we will advance with the presentation. And here I have another that says, this is like a summary of what, I, of what I have explained before. Comparative adjectives of one syllable just add er. For example, clean, cleaner. A two syllables ending in y, change the y to i and add er. For example, busy, busier. A two or more syllables uh, that doesn't end with y. 
use the word more or less. More active, less generous. Okay, so <clears throat> I have here the list of irregulars, okay? Maybe they are more, but I have here the basic ones. For example, good, uh, the comparative is better, better than. For example, we can say, um, let's see, fruit, uh, fruits are better than uh, chips, okay? Uh, or we can say fruit are the best. Uh, fruits are the best. But uh, if you want to say that it's uh, in a comparative, you can say the weather this year uh, has been worse than last year, okay? Or you can say this rainy season was the worst, okay? It's a superlative. Far, you can say farther or further, okay? The farthest or the furthest. Uh, much, more, the most. Little, less, the least, okay? So those are irregular. Si ustedes se fijan, estos son irregulares porque no siguen ninguna de las reglas que que acabamos de decir, ¿verdad? Que para el comparativo agregamos ER. Es, eh, eh, ninguno de estos lo, lo hace, ¿verdad? Ok. Uh, having cleared this, I want that we can work together these exercises. For example, here it says, once again, it uh, provides you um, or reaffirms that adjectives with one syllable just add er or er plus than. Uh, the adjective is cold, okay? In Canada, winter is colder than summer, okay? Happy, I have here two syllable uh, that end in y. So what I have to do is to change the y to i and add ed and add, excuse me, er plus than. Happy, John is happier than David. Uh, for adjectives with two or more syllables, add more plus than. If you see here, we have one, two, three syllables, so expensive. This book is more expensive than that book. So it, we, it means that we are comparing the, the price of two books and one is more expensive than the other one. Um, in, in here, I have also an example with the irregular adjectives. And it says, adjectives that end in a single vowel and consonant double the final letter before adding than. Big, Russia is bigger than Canada. So the irregular comparative adjectives, uh, as, I, as I told you before, is good, better than, bad, worse than, Far, farther than, or further than. Siempre utilizamos la palabra than, ¿verdad? Para, para hacer la comparación entre los adjetivos irregulares, pero son irregulares porque no siguen la regla de agregar el er, ¿verdad? Ok, uh, I have here exercises for you. So I want you to read the sentence, and I want that you can use some adjectives to compare, ¿ok? So I, I want that you take one sentence and that you try to work, okay? Um, quiero que cada uno adopte una oración, ¿verdad? Y que trate de pensar eh, qué adjetivo pondría. Y tenemos la, el, el ejemplo uno, ¿verdad? Argentina is bigger than Colombia. Argentina es más grande que Colombia. So we have here cars, radios. So let's imagine. What adjective should I use in order to compare cars and radios? Me teacher. Okay, Julie, tell us. Vamos a tratar de hacerlo acá. Cars is more expensive than radio. Sería R, ¿verdad? Porque estamos hablando de plural. Mm -hmm. Sí. R. Entonces, para R. que haya concordancia entre el sujeto y el verbo, decimos cars are R. more expensive, more expensive than Radios. Okay, very good. Thank you, Julie. Okay. 
Next volunteer for number three. Me teacher. Okay, uh, go ahead. Adelante. Uh, Thomas mm -hmm. is, is, small, is smaller than his brother. Very good, thank you. Thank you, Chris. Chris. Uh, let's see, uh, volunteer for number four. Me teacher. Okay, Noe. Uh, winter is colder than summer. Very good. Okay, a volunteer for number five. Thank you, Noe. You're welcome. Elizabeth. Weekends mm -hmm. are shorter than. No, we, yes, than weekend, weekends. Weekends are shorter than weekdays. weekdays. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, that's true. And we, we can miss. Are better. <laughs> yeah, I think that that too. And they <laughs> they are they they pass they go faster. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Than weekdays. Okay. Thank you. Uh, now I need another volunteer for number six. This book, Juan Carlos, would you like to do one? Yes. Okay. This book, this book is more expensive that, than that book. Okay, very good. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Okay, oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, next volunteer. You can participate more than once because we are just six. I don't know what happened with my other two participants. Okay, maybe the internet is not properly working. Okay, I will do one. Comedies are funny, funnier than action movies okay in this case if you see funny ends with a y termina con y and then we change the y and add i and add er okay okay volunteers for hey, number eight okay julie the flu is more annoying that a call. Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher, but in that case, we just have three space. Three, three. Yeah, but it says that more than three. Uh, three or more. Oh, okay. Yes, it can be three or more. Yes. No, I'm referring about the lines. For example, in the first one, it has three, three lines, like is bigger than. Yeah, because in this case, we are using more. Aquí tenemos yeah. una palabra más, que es la palabra more. Es más molesto que. Por eso siente que tenemos yeah. cuatro, cuatro frases, ¿verdad? Four, four uh, words. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, because when you have an adjective that is uh, three syllables or more, you use the word more. Sí. Eh, es lo que dice acá, cuando tenemos dos o más sílabas que no terminan en Y, eh, utilizamos la palabra more si queremos decir que es más o less si queremos, por ejemplo, more active. Less generous. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero me refiero a, la, a los espacios que tenemos, es decir, no a la oración, sino al adjetivo, sino que a la parte de, de los espacios uh -huh. que tenemos de, de las, de las vaya, por ejemplo, aquí le dice que tiene que usar tres, tres eh, uh -huh. palabras. Uh -huh. Es que more, more annoying cuenta cuatro. como una sola. Ajá, more annoying es una sola. Ah. 
Sí, okay. more annoying, ajá. Porque como annoying es más larga la palabra, entonces ya no me funciona la regla del ER. Al ley okay. que tengo que agregar el more. Entonces el more annoying se cuenta como una sola. Una como, sola. Sí, entonces por eso es is, el verbo, uh -huh. more annoying y luego than. Uh -huh. Ok. Yes, that's right. Ok, thank you eh, Noé, and thank, thank you, you eh, Elizabeth, very good observation. Ok, uh, number nine, dogs. Ok, I heard a dog barking. Eh, dog, dogs are smarter than cats. Dogs are smaller than cats. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sure. Smart, smartest. I sm think. Smartest. Ah. Yes. Yeah. Smarter. Smarter. Dogs are smarter than cats. Than the cats. Es que yo le escuché smaller. Yo dije, smaller. No. Uh -huh. smart, smarter. 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 Smarter than smarter. cats. Than yes. That's true. Completely agree. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I think so. Yes. Okay. The last one. Okay, go ahead. Cake is um, more delicious than ice cream? Yes. Mm. Well, Noé disagree a little bit, but, <laughs> but I agree with you sometimes, okay? Cake is more delicious than ice cream. Este es similar al, al otro, ¿verdad? En este caso, como delicious es una palabra grande, ya no nos aplica la regla del ER. Entonces, tenemos que agregar more. Y more delicious cuenta como una sola palabra para decir más delicioso. Y luego dan, ¿qué, verdad? El cake es más delicioso que el sorbet. Ok, my dears, I would like to know if you have questions uh, here at this at this time. Me gustaría saber si tienen preguntas hasta aquí. Si no, no. completamos no. rapidito el, el ejercicio, ¿verdad? Y mañana veríamos los que son los superlativos. Eh, for example, here, I, vean, aquí eh, ya estamos utilizando el verb be, mire, I am eh, igual que el anterior, ¿verdad? I am taller than my sister. Yo soy más alta que mi hermana. Y luego aquí tenemos Sarah busy Mary. Sarah, it's busier. Uh -huh. Than Mary. Entonces, como termina en Y, ¿qué hacemos? Cambiamos la Y, ¿verdad? Por I latina uh -huh. y yes. agregamos ER. Uh -huh. Y decimos, Sarah is busier than Mary. Very good. Um, let's see the other one. The sun, hot, the earth. The sun is hotter mm -hmm. than the earth. Okay, the sun is hotter than earth. ¿Y qué pasó ahí? Como era un monosílabo, ¿verdad? La regla dice que tengo que duplicar la última consonante de la palabra base, del adjetivo base. Entonces me queda hotter y duplicando la letter T. Ok, the earth, the earth, large, dice the moon. ¿Cómo nos quedaría? The earth is larger than the moon. Very good. La tierra es más grande que la luna. And that's true. Ok, vamos a hacer un par más porque ya el tiempo está avanzando. Elephants big horses. Elephants are bigger than horses. Ok. Are bigger. bigger. Y como igual que hot, ¿verdad? Duplicamos mm -hmm. la última. Eh, consonante de ese monosílabo. Ok, uh, let's do a couple more. Vamos a hacer un par más. Action movies, exciting. Vean que exciting es una palabra grande. Entonces, ¿cómo nos quedaría? Are more, are more exciting. Yes, more exciting. Ahí sí tengo que 
eh, agregar, ¿verdad? El more y la palabra base, el adjetivo base me queda igual. Exciting. Mo action movies are more exciting. Eh, está mal escrito, permítanme. Me comí una letra. Very good. More exciting than. Sorry. Ok, and the last one. The, the restaurant, vean, este es un irregular. Mm -hmm. It's better. Ajá, this restaurant. Better than that restaurant. Ajá, we are comparing. Estamos comparando, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Uno con otro. This restaurant, y como solo es un restaurante, is It's better, better than, than that, that restaurant. restaurant. Okay, very good, my dear participants. I know that you have cleared this. Eh, veo que lo tienen claro. So we are going to continue tomorrow. Eh, but tomorrow we are going to talk about super comparative and superlative adjectives. Recuerden entonces que el comparativo de un adjetivo en inglés se establece eh, agregándole las reglas generales agregar ER, ¿verdad? Al, al adjetivo base. Eh, con algunos eh, pequeños cambios. Si el adjetivo termina en Y, cambio la Y por Y latina y agrego E. -E. Si el adjetivo es un monosílabo, duplico la última consonante del monosílabo y agrego ER. Pero si el adjetivo tiene más de tre tres o más eh, sílabas, eh, utilizo la palabra more. Y, en todos los y, el y el adjetivo base me queda igual. Y en todos los casos utilizo la palabra dan que significa que, ¿verdad? En ese caso, cuando estoy estableciendo un comparativo. Ok, thank you for being here in class. I'm going to stop here. Eh, and I hope to see you tomorrow in order to continue with this uh, uh, superlative adjectives, ok? Ok, good night. Ok, good night. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 Bye.